What's up everybody, welcome back to my laboratory where safety is number one priority and for today I'm going to show you 5 satisfying science toys. Let's see what I got. For the next science toy I got here illusion spin top. First of all, let's start to spin it, very very easy to spin it. And if you film it, it actually looks super cool. In real life it doesn't look like anything, but on camera as you can see there's everything spinning the other way. Super cool spin top, that's for sure. Check it out. When you spin it really good, you can see every single line looks like spinning. Different speed, different direction almost. Some of them anyways. So unique, I love it. Look how easy it is to start spinning it. And it stays on the same spot. Please thumbs up this video if you want to see spin tops like that. Okay, let's see what else we got. This thing is going to spin all day. I have another spin top right here. And this one is very, very satisfying. Let me show you how this one works. It's really, really cheap. But it comes with a little snake like that. Looks like it got bent a little bit. So each one of these thing is just a dollar. So I'm going to spin it. And then I'm going to put the snake on it. And look. What happens? The snake looks like crawling. Isn't it cool? Boom, and it stops. Let me show you a little different angle. Okay, I'm gonna spin it first of all. Spins really easily, and then we're gonna touch the snakes on the bottom of it. And that's what happens. Okay, let's do this again. There you go. Don't you guys think this is so unique? I never seen a spin top like that till I just recently found it. Oops. <laughs> you know what's cool? This is actually a magnet spin top. So this is helps it stick together instead of kicking it out. For this science table toy, this is a mini marble machine. Let's take this out, see what it's all about. There is our tiny marbles. And then there is instruction. Looks like very easy assembly. Okay, step one. Let's figure this out. Looks like it's gonna go in here. Boom. This one is gonna go in here. And the short one gonna go in here. There you go. Now we figure this out. This one is gonna go down here, I guess. Yep. And then it slides in into here. And then this one slides in into here. And this two slides into here. And this one gonna go into here. Wow, that looks pretty cool. Three poly batteries. Close it back up. Okay guys, let's turn it on and I'm going to drop the balls right here once in a while. One and two, second one right here, or fourth I mean. This is so much fun. Another super fun office desk toy, doesn't take too much space, very very tiny. But when you need to get your mind off of the stress for like 5 minutes, reset yourself, just turn it on, enjoy the marbles, just spinning each other, chasing each other, falling, getting lifted up, back up and do that all over again. And it looks like it's changing it up once in a while. Sometimes the marble would spin a lot longer than the other times, like this one. Do you see it? spins so much. So it definitely makes you forget about stuff because it's just pretty satisfying and definitely keeps your attention on it for a minute. And of course it's definitely a fun conversation starter as well. Let me know in comments below what do you think about this thing. Definitely a thumbs up for me. I'm gonna turn it off, see what happens. 
all the marbles are just gonna stick in there. For the next science story, this is pretty funny. Televised glass for wine. Let's see what it does. It doesn't have to be for wine, it could be for Coca-Cola too, because too much sugar not good for you. So this glass keeps you from drinking too much of the, I don't know, soda or wine. That is, you shouldn't drink too much. So, as you can see, there's a tube inside of it. And if you're going to overfill this tube, something fun is going to happen. Let me show you what exactly will happen. I'm gonna do this outside because it's going to make a mess. Let's say I'm gonna fill it up with whatever it is you're going to fill it up. Let's say Coca-Cola. And you're only gonna fill it up halfway. And let's say this is how much you only should drink of Coca-Cola because Coca-Cola not as good for you. You shouldn't drink too much of it. Or wine, same thing. So if you decide to overfill more than that, let's see what happens. Check this out. So we got it to the top. It will punish you for that. If you put too much drink in there, it will keep spilling all the way. See, it keeps spilling everything out. Even though it gets to this tube, how funny is that? A really, really interesting glass, don't you guys think? And boom. And it's all empty now. Let's try this again. You see it's not spilling if you only fill it up halfway in and if you fill it up to the top it's going to start spilling. This is why it's called civilized glass so that way you don't drink too much wine or too much soda whatever. So funny. You see how fast it's draining right now. Pretty cool huh? And the best part is it's going to punish you if you overfill it, it's going to spill all of it out. I don't know who created it, it's just mean. And boom, everything out. But I'm so glad they made it. This is like perfect epic full joke as well. Give somebody a glass, they fill it up way too much and everything going to spill out. For this one I got Hypnogizma. Let's open it up and see what it does. If you look inside of it, there's a bunch of beads stained to the stain. Why is that? Well, if we spin it, it's gonna continuously fall. And you can go slower, and you can go faster. On the box, it doesn't really explain why it was made. It just says endless fun out of the box or customize it with make your own hypergizmo. So it's more like just a toy to play around with. And honestly it would be very satisfying desk toy. Whenever you need to just waste a bunch of time, I was before I actually start filming, I start playing with it and I wouldn't stop because it's like wow this is actually cool. And that noise is just a lot of fun too. Okay, I went too fast. Let's see how slow I can go. And once it gets to a certain height, it's just going to fall off. I need to stop playing with this thing. I'm just addicted now. You know what? I'm just gonna put it in my background over here in the studio. This thing looks really cool beside that is a fun toy too. Well guys, that's pretty much it. Let me know in comments below what do you think about this video. Of course, don't forget to thumbs up this video if you want to see more stuff like that. And of course, don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next time.